In recent years, a remarkable green revolution has been unfolding quietly across China's vast deserts. In the latter half of 2024, a 3,046-kilometer-long green ecological barrier in China's desert region was finally completed. Based on U.S. satellite remote sensing images, this has become the world's longest green barrier surrounding a desert. It stands as a major milestone in humanity's battle against nature's challenges. Many people wonder, how was this incredible 3,000-kilometer-long green shield built? From my research to combat the spread of desertification, China has deployed approximately 8,000 state-of-the-art sand control robots. These robots are highly advanced, capable of not only planting saplings automatically, but also enhancing soil quality, providing precise irrigation, and completing the entire tree planting process. Programmed by operators, these machines are designed to plant 160 seedlings per acre and can accomplish the task in just 20 minutes, more than 10 times faster than traditional methods. Once this breakthrough became public, many nations struggling with desertification expressed a strong interest in adopting China's sand control technology and equipment. They believe that China's success in this area will significantly advance global efforts to combat desertification and transform the ecological landscape of arid regions. So in today's video, we'll take an in-depth look at how China's sand control robots are reshaping the fight against desertification. If you enjoy our content, make sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel so you never miss our latest videos. Now let's dive into today's discussion. Before the 21st century, China was among the countries facing the most severe land desertification issues. Studies showed that desertified land in China had reached a staggering 2.61 million square kilometers, nearly one-third of the country's total land area. Among these deserts, the Taklimakan Desert stands out as the most formidable. Known as the Sea of Death, this desert spans 330,000 square kilometers, equivalent to the total land area of Japan. Even more alarming, it ranks as the world's second-largest shifting desert. Sand dunes can move dozens of meters overnight, and some towering dunes exceed 200 meters, comparable to a 100-story building. The shifting sands of the Taklamakan pose a serious threat, as wind-driven sandstorms not only disrupt agriculture in nearby provinces, but also interfere with transportation infrastructure. Recognizing this daunting challenge, China initiated efforts to tackle desertification as early as the previous century. The government launched the Three North Shelter Belt Project, aiming to slow desert expansion by constructing a vast green barrier around the Taklamakan Desert. To bring this vision to life, China mobilized nearly 200,000 workers and even deployed military personnel to the desert region for large-scale ecological construction. In the early stages, a simple yet effective method was used to stabilize shifting sands. Workers buried hay 15 to 20 centimeters deep in the sand, leaving just 20 centimeters exposed above ground. This technique helped anchor the sand dunes and reduce their mobility. At the same time, Chinese scientists developed specialized drought-resistant plant species and introduced them to desert regions. These hardy plants thrived in extreme conditions, gradually restoring the fragile desert ecosystem. By 2010, after more than 40 years of afforestation efforts, China had successfully transformed over 100 million mu of desert into Greenland. Desert control methods are effective, but they require a massive investment of resources. The first major challenge is manpower. Since most desert areas undergoing treatment are far from cities, transportation is highly inconvenient, and the environment is harsh. Workers involved in desert control can only lay around 300 square meters of grass squares daily. Desert control methods are effective, but they require a massive investment of resources. The first major challenge is manpower. Since most desert areas undergoing treatment are far from cities, transportation is highly inconvenient, and the environment is harsh. Workers involved in desert control can only lay around 300 square meters of grass squares daily. Secondly, the financial burden is significant. For example, the cost of saplings and water sources alone reaches approximately $210 per acre, with additional labor expenses of around $100 per acre. Given the vast scale of China's desertified land, even reclaiming just one-third of it demands an astronomical amount of capital. To overcome these challenges, China has recently explored using machines instead of manual labor. By 2024, China introduced automatic tree planting machinery, achieving impressive results. But how did this development unfold? In reality, as early as 2021, 
China had already created a desert control robot and conducted trials in desert regions. Following successful experiments, the country has developed over 150 advanced machines specifically designed for desert prevention and control. By 2025, China had deployed 8,000 desert control robots, contributing to the afforestation of 480 million acres in the Three Norths Protective Forest Project area. These robots utilize cluster-based local joint control technology. Every five robots operate as a team, collectively covering around 180 acres of tree planting per day. Each individual robot follows programmed planting instructions, planting approximately 160 saplings per acre in just 20 minutes. Based on these calculations, these machines are capable of planting one tree every 10 seconds, over 10 times more efficient than traditional manual labor. What's even more impressive is that these desert control robots are equipped with an AI-powered visual analysis system. This allows them to accurately assess which areas are suitable for tree planting and automatically map out the best routes while avoiding obstacles like sand dunes and gullies. Additionally, their performance is exceptionally robust. These machines boast powerful computing capabilities and can operate reliably in extreme conditions, including high temperatures, intense UV radiation, and even sandstorms. Their design is also highly specialized. They feature an integrated cooling system, a durable exterior, and an advanced power setup, enabling them to carry out tree planting tasks around the clock. The leading unit among these robots is a drilling machine powered by an engine. It can create a hole one meter deep in the desert in a very short time, after which a team of robots follows to inject water and plant seedlings. The leading unit among these robots is a drilling machine powered by an engine. It can create a hole one meter deep in the desert in a very short time, after which a team of robots follows to inject water and plant seedlings. Another key feature of these sand control robots is their impressive mobility. They can move freely across uneven terrain, navigate slopes of up to 25 degrees, and operate steadily on slopes as steep as 12 degrees. More remarkably, thanks to precise positioning technology and an irrigation-free seedling method, the survival rate of trees planted by these robots reaches an astonishing 70 to 80 percent. In the past, achieving such high survival rates in desert control projects was nearly unthinkable. Today, as China aggressively advances the development of mechanized sand control and afforestation, nearly 50% of tree planting efforts in the Three Norths Shelter Belt project are now carried out using mechanical equipment. Did you know that a small sand control machine costs only about 30,000 yuan, yet its efficiency is over 10 times greater than manual labor? Not only that, but it also cuts down the cost of sand control and sand fixation by more than 40%. In the past, local tree planting workers had to do everything manually. A team of three people could only plant trees on two acres of land per day. Now, with the newly developed self-propelled grass grid sand barrier machine, a single person can cover 20 acres of grass grid suppression in just one day. By the end of 2023, China had successfully built a 2,761-kilometer-long green sand barrier around the Taklimakan Desert. And by the end of 2024, the final piece of this massive project was completed. The 3,046-kilometer-long green chain now surrounds the desert, marking the full completion of the Taklamakan Green Sand Barrier Project. According to China's Forestry Department, the Three Norths Project has led to the afforestation of 480 million mu and the restoration of 1.28 billion mu of degraded grassland. This crucial region has undergone a historic transformation. From the old days of sand advancing, people retreating to today's reality of green advancing, sand retreating. Even more impressive, over the past 30 years, artificial oases around the Taklamakan Desert have expanded from 65,000 square kilometers to 100,000 square kilometers, an incredible 54% increase. Even more impressive, over the past 30 years, Artificial oases around the Taklamakan Desert have expanded from 65,000 square kilometers to 100,000 square kilometers, an incredible 54% increase. Beyond the Taklamakan Desert, China's sand control machines have played a key role in desert areas across the country. Statistics show that China has planted more than 68 billion trees in the desert, improving approximately 4.45 billion mu of desert land. This has breathed new life into once barren regions. To further solidify these efforts, China has also implemented protective measures, 
covering 26.58 million mu of desertified land. This has successfully brought more than half of the country's manageable desertified land under control. Additionally, China has established over 50 comprehensive demonstration areas for sand prevention and control, along with 26 desert ecosystems, leveraging science and technology to enhance desert management. Today, China's desertification control efforts are recognized globally. Since joining the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification in 1994, China has been a key leader in this field. Through continuous dedication, China has already met the UN's 2030 goal of zero global land degradation. Moreover, China has actively collaborated with other nations to share its expertise and technology in desert control. At the 16th Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification, held in late 2024 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, China's success in this field gained global attention. This was the largest gathering of its kind, providing China with an opportunity to showcase the Three Norths Project and its fight against desertification on an international stage. During the event, China shared its innovative sand control technologies with dignitaries and experts from over 100 countries. Even before this, delegates from countries like Mongolia, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Uzbekistan, Iraq, South Africa, Morocco, Somalia, and Yemen had traveled to China to study the latest breakthroughs in sand control technology. Experts worldwide have praised China's sand control machines, calling them a game changer in the fight against desertification. Desertification is not just an environmental challenge for China. It's a pressing global issue, particularly in the Middle East and Africa, where desert expansion threatens ecosystems and livelihoods. The tree planting conditions in these regions are quite similar to those of China's Taklimakan Desert. Today, China's desert tree planting robots are like a revolutionary force in environmental management, dramatically increasing both efficiency and survival rates in sand control efforts. For many Middle Eastern countries, this technology represents the solution they have been desperately seeking. To stay updated on our future projects and news, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We'll continue bringing you more exciting and insightful content.